Hello everybody, we are finishing up the book of Joshua. We'll be starting with chapter 18 of Joshua and there are 24 chapters in this book. So we're going to be pushing through it and um, continuing to read about Israel settling in the promised land and how the land was divided, the work that they had to do to totally take over the, the promised land. So chapter 18, allotments of the remaining land. Now the land was under Israelite control. The entire community of Israel gathered at Shiloh and set up the tabernacle, but there remained seven tribes who had not yet been allotted their grants of land. Then Joshua asked them, How long are you going to wait before taking possession of the remaining land the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has given you? Select three men from each tribe, and I will send them out to explore the land and map it out. They will then return to me with a written report of their proposed divisions of the new homeland. Let them divide the land into seven sections, including Jewish territory in the south and Joseph's territory in the north. And when you record the seven divisions of the land and bring them to me, I will cast sacred lots in the presence of the Lord our God to assign land to each tribe. The Levites, however, will not receive any allotment of land. Their role as priests of the Lord is their allotment. And the tribes of Gad, Reuben, and the half-tribe of Manasseh won't receive any more land, for they have already received their grant of land, which most of the servant of the Lord gave them on the east side of the Jordan River. As the men started on their way to map out the land, Joshua commanded them, Go and explore the land and write a description of it. Then return to me, and I will assign the land to the tribes by casting sacred lots here in the presence of the Lord at Shiloh. The men did as they were told and mapped the entire territory into seven sections, listing the towns in each section. They made a written record and then returned to Joshua in the camp at Shiloh. And there at Shiloh, Joshua cast sacred lots in the presence of the Lord to determine which tribe should have each section. The first allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. It lay between the territory assigned to the tribes of Judah and Joseph. The northern boundary of Benjamin's land began at the Jordan River, went north of the slope of Jericho, then west of the hill country and the wilderness of Beth Haven. Beth -Haven. From there, the boundary went south to Luz, that is Bethel, and proceeded down to Ataroth Adar on the hill that lies south of lower Beth Horon. The boundary then made a turn and swung south along the western edge of the hill facing Beth Horon, ending at the village of Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Jerem, a town belonging to the tribe of Judah. This was the western boundary. The southern boundary began at the outskirts of Kiriath Jerem. From that western point, it ran to the spring of the waters of Nephtoa and down to the base of the mountain beside the valley of Ben Hinnom, at the northern end of the valley of Rephaim. From there, it went down the valley of Hinnom, crossing south of the slope where the Jebusites lived, and continued down to Enrogel. From Enrogel, the boundary proceeded in a northern direction and came to En Shemesh and on to Gilioth, which is across from the slopes of Adunam. Then it went down to the stone of Bohan. Bohan was Reuben's son. From there it passed along the north side of the slope, overlooking the Jordan Valley. The border then went down into the valley, ran past the north slope of Beth Hogla, and ended at the north bay of the Dead Sea which is the southern end of the Jordan River. This was the southern boundary. The eastern boundary was the Jordan River. These were the boundaries of the homeland associated to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emekizes, Beth Arba, Zimran, Bethel, Avim, Para, Ophra, Kephar, Ammoni, Ophni, and Giba, twelve towns with their surrounding villages, also Gibeon, Ramah, Biroth, Mizpah, Kephira, Moza, Rechem, Irpil, Tarala, Zila, Helep, and the Jebusite town that is Jerusalem, Gibeah, and Kirajirim, 14 towns with their surrounding villages. This was the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. The land given to Simeon. The second allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Simeon. Their homeland was surrounded by Judah's territory. Simeon's homeland included Beer Sheba, Sheba, Molda, Hazar, Shul, Bala, Ezem, El Dolad, 
Bethel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth, Markoboth, Hazar, Susa, Beth, Leboath, and Sharuhin. 13 towns with their surrounding villages. It also included Ain, Rimmon, Ether, Ashen, four towns with their villages, including all the surrounding villages as far south as Baloth Beer, also known as Ramah of the Negev. This was the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Simeon. Their allocation of land came from part of what had been given to Judah because Judah's territory was too large for them. So the tribe of Simeon received an allocation within the territory of Judah, the land given to Zebulun. The third allotment of land went to the class of the tribe of Zebulun. The boundary of Zebulun's homeland started at Sarid. From there it went west, going past Marla, touching Dabaseth and proceeding to the brook east of Jokneum. In the other direction, the boundary went east from Sarid to the border of Kislot Tobor, Tabor, and from the Dabarath and up to Japhia. Then it continued east to Gath Hefer, at Kazan and Rimmon, and turned toward Nia. The northern boundary of Zebulun passed Hanathon and ended at the valley of Iftahel. The towns in these areas included Kata, Nahalal, Shimron, Edala and Bethlehem, 12 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Zebulun included these towns and their surrounding villages. The fourth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Issachar. The boundaries included the following towns, Jezreel, Kesuloth, Shunim, Hafarim, Shine, Shion, Enaharath, Rabbith, Kishion, Ebez, Remeth, In Ganim, In Heda, and Beth Pazes. The boundary also touched Tabor, Shahazuma, and Beth Shemesh, ending in the Jordan River. Sixteen towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocates the clans of the tribe of Issachar, included these towns and their surrounding villages. The fifth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Asher. Its boundaries included the towns Helkath, Hali, Beaton, Akshath, Alimelech, Amad, Mishal. The boundary of the west touched Carmel and Shihor, Libnath. Then it turned east toward Beth Dagon and ran as far as Zebulun in the valley of Iphtath El, going north to Beth Emek and Neil. It then continued north to Kabul, Abdon, Rehob, Haman, Kana, and as far as Great Sidon. Then the boundary turned toward Ramah and the fortress of Tyre, where it turned toward Hosa and came to the Mediterranean Sea. The territory also included Mehebel, Exib, Uma, Apek, and Rehob, 22 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the, cl the clans of the tribe of Asher included these towns and their surrounding villages. The sixth allotment went to the tribe of Naphtali. Adamai, Nikib, Jab, El, and as far as Lechem, ending off the Jordan River, the western boundary ran past Asnoth Tabor, then to Hukuk, and touched the border of Zebulun in the south, the border of Asher on the west, the Jordan River on the east. The fortified towns include the territory where Zedim, Zer, Hamath, Rakath, Kinnereth, Adama, Ramah, Hazor, Kadesh, Edrei, and Hazor, Yiron, Migdal-el, Horem, Beth Anath, and Beth Shemesh, 19 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocates the clans of the tribe of Naphtali included these towns and surrounding villages. The seventh allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Dan. The land allocated to their homeland included following towns, Zora, Eshtol, Ir Shemesh, Shalabin, Aijalon, Itla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, Eltika, Jebethon, Balath, Jehud, Binibarek, Gath Rimmon, Me, Jarkon, Rakon, and the territory across from Joppa. From the tribe of Dan had trouble taking possession of their land. So they attacked the town of Laish. 
they captured it and slaughtered its people and settled there. They renamed the town Dan after their ancestor. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Dan included these towns and their surrounding villages. After all the land was divided among the tribes, the Israelites gave a piece of land to Joshua as his allocation. For the Lord had said he would have any town he wanted. He chose Timnath Sirah in the hill country of Ephraim. He rebuilt the town and lived there. These are the ter territories of Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the tribal leaders allocated as grants of land to the tribes of Israel by casting sacred lots in the presence of the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle at Shiloh. So the division of the land was completed. Let's go ahead and do chapter 20. I know these are tougher chapters, but we're just going to read really quickly about the cities of refuge. The Lord said to Joshua, Now tell the Israelites to designate the cities of refuge as I instructed Moses. Anyone who kills another person accidentally and unintentionally can run to one of these cities. They will be places of refuge from relatives seeking revenge for the person who was killed. Upon reaching one of these cities, the one who caused the death will appear before the elders at the city gate and present his case. They must allow him to enter the city and give him a place to live among them. If the relatives of the victim come to avenge the killing, the leaders must not release the slayer to them, for he killed the other person unintentionally and without previous hostility. That's very nice that they're giving it the, you know, the, looking into it because God really does value life. But the slayer must stay in the city and be tried by the local assembly, which will render a judgment. And he must continue to live in the city until the death of the high priest, who was in office at that time of the accident. After that, he is free to return to his own home in the town from which he fled after the death of the high priest. What does that sound like to you guys if you're New Testament believers? The following cities were designated as cities of refuge. Kadesh of Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. On the east side of the Jordan River, across from Jericho, the following cities were designated Bezer in the wilderness plain of the tribe of Reuben, Ramoth and Gilead in the territory of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan in the land of the tribe of Manasseh. These cities were set apart for all the Israelites as well as the foreigners living among them. Anyone who accidentally killed another person could take refuge in one of these cities. In this way, they could escape being killed in revenge prior to standing trial before the local assembly. I know those were tough chapters, but they are in the Bible, and I think that means that they are beneficial to us, to our teaching, our rebuking, our growing in, in God, and learning about God's character in His Word. So thank you for joining me. Just a few chapters in Joshua left. I hope uh, you read through it with me, and it's just really uh, a blessing to have you here. So have a great day, night, and we'll see you soon.